Ito and Goro, what are you two talking about? Oh, I was just saying that if I had more time, I'd have built a massive fishing pond here. Fishing? You know, when I lived on Watatsumi Island, I used to just dive into the sea and catch fish with my bare hands. <laughs> Take it from an expert, using your hands to catch fish is nowhere near as fun as using a fishing rod. Just the other day, I caught a fish so big that I didn't even know how to handle it. I even wrote a letter to Yai Publishing House about it. That's an unusual problem to have. Huh? A big fish? How come you didn't tell us? Paimon could have helped you eat it! Huh? You wrote a letter to Yai Publishing House? Oh, you bet I did. I wrote to the That's Life column and asked Miss Hina for advice. Ah, she's so amazing. She got back to me really quickly, too. Huh, what a coincidence. I do some part-time work there, and I recently received a similar letter. You mean the letter was about dealing with a giant fish they caught? No, could it be? Could it be that there's someone as good at fishing as I am? Oh, not on my watch. Hey, you all go enjoy the festival. I'm gonna get out there and catch an even bigger fish. Just you wait. I'll be inviting you all to my fish feast. <laughs> Aw, the string snapped. I was so close. Yoimiya, this is more difficult than it looks. Can you really fish out these water balloons with a string? Don't worry, let me show you a little trick. Just remember that your hand has to be quick. Yo, yo, Tsuri! Paimon's seen this game in some light novels before! Do you want to give it a shot? Close one eye, aim carefully, and fish it out quickly. Oh... It looks kind of tricky. Paima will let the Traveler try. You have to catch at least three water balloons since there's three of us. Uh, but Yoimiya, if I close one eye, I won't be able to see anything. Feels like it's been ages since the last time I had some. Hmm? You mean you don't get to eat ramen very often, Ayaka? But it's so delicious! Oh, it's you. We'll need two more bowls of ramen, please. Food like ramen and hot pot tend to have a lot of oil and salt, so I don't get to eat them very often. Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah. Now Paimon totally gets why Ayaka would put cake in the hot pot. Huh? Oh, uh, please, no need to bring that up again. Phew, I'm stuffed and feeling a little sleepy. <sighs> I'm just gonna take a nap. By the way, were there any special stalls at yokai festivals in the past? Yes, but... Well, it's a long story. Paimon can't believe you couldn't get a single water balloon. You've gotten rusty. Chizuru managed to finally get one and gave it to Hitotsume Kozo. He looked like he really wanted it. But Paimon wanted one too. All right, then I'll catch one for you next time. Yay! Come on now, this is way more expensive than usual. Even if it is a festival, you shouldn't hike up the prices this much. Hey now, it costs money to run a stall. I need to raise my prices to help cover the expenses, you know? Ugh, fair enough. How about five masks for 30% off? Final offer. All right, all right. Uh, it's so hot. Feels like I'm being roasted here. Don't get too close. It's better to keep a few steps back. I know. It's just so rare to see such a nice bonfire. 
I want to get as close as I can to enjoy it. There are many beautiful things in the world. There's no need to be anxious. The festival has only just begun. I was surprised that you didn't even tell your sister. It seems she was quite frightened, too. It would have been uninteresting had I told her what was going to happen ahead of time. Besides, with her friends by her side, she wouldn't ever be too scared. Having a little fright is good to release any tension she might have accumulated lately. <laughs> Everything went according to plan. People started to panic as soon as they sensed that they had no idea what was happening. Ah, oh, how amusing. <laughs> yes, well done. Hey, you two, stop laughing! It was scary! Hmm? Have you finished exploring the festival? Well then, are you having a good time? Yeah, it's great! The original Mikawa Flower Festival was much more lively. But even if you could attend the original, you probably wouldn't be as happy as you are now. Because it's always more fun to enjoy a festival with friends, isn't it? Yes. Thank you. Well then, I'm guessing you have something you want to say to her alone. We'll leave you in peace. Hmm? What did you want to say to us? Ah, you saw through me again. I can't help but feel you somehow know everything. It's not that I know everything. It's just that I've been in your position before. <sighs> Traveler, do you have a moment? I'd like to talk to you. Alone on the beach. Saying goodbye is also part of a festival. Hmm, yes. Every celebration must come to an end. Are you enjoying yourself? How about we go eat together? <sighs> I think I need to take a break. I want to become a great yokai, like the mighty Urakusai. Then I'll be able to help create a real Mikawa flower festival. <laughs> oh, I sure bought a lot of stuff. I'll have to organize it all when I get back. Oh no! I almost had it! Oh, starting to get the hang of it, huh? Keep trying! One bowl of ramen shouldn't hurt, right? Weird. Where did all the fish go? Don't worry. Let's go try another spot. Here will do. Thank you for agreeing to come with me. Actually, I was delighted when I first discovered that I could take on a human form. I was a yokai derived from a pair of Hagoita who came into being in the middle of a festival. So naturally, I enjoyed the lively festival atmosphere. I wanted to go to more festivals, become friends with humans, and play Akitsu Yugen with them. But every evening, as night began to set in, I'd recall the bitter smile of the old samurai as he set down the Hagoita, and the lonely Kamai sighing as he drank his sake. Then I would wonder, if I became friends with a human, would that person experience the same melancholy in the future? As a result, I was convinced that I couldn't do it. I told myself I would not repeat that same mistake. Huh. 
I'm sorry that I spoke so strangely when we first met. I'm sure it must have scared you. I expected you to flee in terror. But when we met again, you acted like you had no trouble being around me. I knew you mistook me as one of the yokai. But instead of telling you the truth, I went and played Akitsu Yugen with you. Hmm... I'm not completely sure myself. Perhaps it's because I've always wanted to be like Kamai and play Akitsu Yugen with humans. Or perhaps it was because I knew I didn't have much time left and I didn't want to be alone. Anyway, thank you for taking the time to play with me. When we played Akitsu Yugen, Paimon said the loser would have to grant the winner a wish. At the time, I wished for us to never cross paths again. However, you still came and found me. Meaning, you never granted my wish. So, can I make another wish? Let me think. I wish for you to remember me. Uh, no. I only have one wish, so I better make it count. Okay. Listen carefully. My wish is... I wish that every day of your journey ahead will be filled with joy like a festival. year when the fireworks go off, I say to myself, another year has already passed. As each year passes by, your life gradually approaches its end. But I don't think that's a bad thing. Like I always say, fireworks are for now, but friends are forever. After hearing Chizuru describe the original Mikawa Flower Festival, I wanted to arrange another chance to talk with her about it. I didn't expect that would be our last conversation. <sighs> Lifespans, partings... It really gets you thinking, doesn't it? But, uh, I got nothing. All I know is I'll never regret meeting you. <laughs> it was, uh, heartbreaking to learn of Chizuru's story. To be honest, I experience that same kind of sorrow when I'm on the battlefield. I don't know when I'll lose my comrades, so... I try to appreciate every moment. Even though I knew my lord had most likely planned everything before the test of courage even began, I was still caught off guard. But in retrospect, it was a lot of fun.
Will you have some time in the next few days, Kazuha? I'd like you to work on a case with me. Oh, did you run into some trouble? Not exactly. It's just an old case with almost no tangible leads. But I believe your attuned sense of nature might allow us to discover some new clues. Sure. I can stay after the festival and we can go investigate together. Great. Thank you. My pleasure. It's no trouble at all. When Ayato approached me about holding the Test of Courage event, it dawned on me that this would be the perfect opportunity to help Chizuru face her problem. Kamai and the Samurai's parting was one of the first things she experienced when she was partially sentient and didn't have her human form yet. This was a very traumatic experience for her, and she could never come to grips with it by reasoning alone. The best option for her was to directly interact with humans. There's no need to feel sad. I believe she was content when she left us. So, did you enjoy the test of courage? Once I learned of the yokai's intentions to hold a festival, I wanted to spread the word and attract people to their event. However, it occurred to me that doing so might be overly ambitious. If we marketed the Mikawa Flower Festival from the get-go, people would have arrived with insatiably high expectations. So I decided on using the test of courage's notoriety to attract visitors, and left the rest to the yokai. I had an inkling that their presence would spice up the event. 